Oh no. Oh. I'm sorry about 380 ml. EcoFlow Delta Pro 50 amp generator inlet box into our views box and it's installed with this interlock into our main system. Turn off the main disconnect and as it says plug in power cord into generator and inlet box. Start generator and warm up. Turn off all high load breakers, HVAC, oven top dryer stuff like that and then turn off the main breaker and then move the interlock to block the main breaker and then turn on the generator hopefully so this thing is kind of fiddly there's the ground the ground is up in here so it looks like this and then this 50 amp line if i use this 50, there's the HVAC going on, to 30, will it play, will it plug and play? There is a 30 amp input right here, which, uh, so it feeds 30 amps of current into this 50 amp line, will it be enough to make it run? I'm going to start, Let's push this button for 3 seconds. I'm at 95% battery power. I must turn off all high load breakers. That's the range. Turn off this one, dryer connection. I turn off 26 and 24, I believe. I'm gonna turn off garbage disposal. I turn off the attic. Basement, all will be on. All of those I'm gonna keep on. This is the range side. I think this might operate my computer possibly. 11 and nine are my condensers. I will turn that off. I'll turn these off downstairs. I will now turn off the main breaker. So that automatically slid on. Now I will turn on the interlock and this will test my echo flow to see if it will power the chosen ones. 13, 17, 19 I want to run. So let's try turning everything else off. If I turn all of this off, so all of these are off, and just the generator inlet, and that is on. There it goes. So it's drawing a thousand watts, 500 to a thousand watts. It's telling me I got six hours of power, seven hours of power. Now let's try turning on some of these other things. What are some things that I do want to run? 20 is master bath. 14 is basement lights. Let's try that. So basement lights are running. Time to have eight hours. <coughs> refrigerator is running. Computer is on. Our whole home, including the refrigerator and the computer area. Let's try running the, the router. Usually when the power goes off, the at and switches probably will also be going off. However, on the off chance that that's on and just our house lights that go off, it's possible that our router our internet can stay on potentially. I believe it is 12 and 16. 12 and 16. How much additional it draws? 
telling, it's telling me that uh, five hours to run. This battery will run all of this for five hours, so I should conserve. For 17, this is my computer. So if I just, if I were to just keep those on, how many hours? It gave me two extra hours by turning those off. Is there anything else I can turn off? The basement, kitchen lights, sink, dining, 17 GFCI. So 15, I may not need. Now, how many hours do I have left? It gave me 11 hours. It's drawing only 285 watts. Probably the situation will probably keep it in. Refrigerator is still on. Computer is now off. I flip 17, my computer off. How much additional time does it give me? Not a big difference. If I flipped off 19, I'll just keep on the GFCI range side. Wow, it gave me a huge additional bump in hours. Yeah, the refrigerator is still on. So we keep everything off. Except the generator and 13, which is the refrigerator. It will let me have 17 hours or more using only 184 watts. I will turn off. I will reverse the procedure. So, and on off. Main breaker on. is back on. Turn this light off. This is the EcoFlow Delta Pro. Power goes off. This goes this could potentially last up to 17 hours if I just powered the refrigerator. Maybe only about five hours if I powered most of the lights and such. So if the power outage lasts about a full day, well that's gonna require four complete recharges of this unit. So this the Echo Pro dual fuel smart generator can use a gasoline or propane with which has a 30 year shelf life just sitting there if i plug it in, into the propane inlet turn this thing on i've got a program so that when this thing hits 20 percent it powers on refills and recharges the battery back to 90 percent this can recharge this unit three times so that one jar if i maintain about two three jars two jars should refill this to last a day or two the last time we had a hurricane last year we were out of action for three days. So if that were to happen again, I'd like to have enough propane to last through that time. Maybe about six jars of propane, with each with a shelf life of 30 years, should be adequate to maintain our house up for three days. The poor man's solution, the alternative that we considered is a whole house generac generator. And that involves having to contract to get a concrete pad put in, put down. There you're talking 500 bucks. And then you got to contact the uh, Dominion natural gas line. You gotta contact the Generac installers. Generac, like 24, 20 to 24,000 kilowatt hour generator can cost about five, six thousand dollars, but after installation and all that set up, we're talking eleven, twelve thousand dollars. This, a 3200 from Costco. This unit direct from Echoflow, about sixteen hundred dollars. The two combine about forty five hundred dollars. Uh, this wire that was built that converts 30 amps to 50 amps, or not converts, but it adapts it so that. Just 30 amps flow through here. It works easily with this 50 amp breaker. So this cable, we're talking about $100 or so. Generator inlet, inlet box, 50 amp, 50 amp breaker. I had an electrician install it. They charge about $1,200 to do that. So that is the tour of our power outage setup using the EcoFlow Delta 50 amp generator inlet into our switch box.